There's nothing more frustrating than having a dream and not knowing how to make it a reality. It's like standing on the edge of a river and clearly seeing everything you ever dreamed of on the other side, but not knowing how to cross over and get to it. That feeling of being stuck can make it seem like the only option is to let the dream die sometimes. But let me tell you something, I know that feeling all too well. There hasn't been a single invention that I've licensed that didn't push me to learn a lot and to hunt hard for the answers to challenging roadblocks. And I started before tools like Google or video meetings and ChatGPT were even available to help me find the answers and get unstuck. Looking back, I can see that the single most valuable trait behind my success, it wasn't a college degree, I don't even have one. And while I do have a high EQ, my IQ is fairly average. What set me apart was my love for learning. Learning makes me feel powerful, not over people, but over my life and what I can accomplish with it, you know? So in the next few minutes, I hope to help you feel the same power too, or if you're stuck, to help you find that power again. Together, we'll explore how to overcome obstacles by asking the right questions so that you can learn whatever it is that you need to know to make your dreams a reality. Hi, Lisa Lloyd here with more tips and tricks to accelerate your invention licensing success. I appreciate your support and you can help me create more free videos just like this one by liking, subscribing, and leaving your comments below. And if you're curious to learn more, then please check out the links below for more resources that I've created for inventors. We've heard the phrase, all of us, knowledge is power, but often do we really even truly apply it? When you're stuck, remember that progress always starts with learning and learning begins with asking the right questions. So let's dive into how to ask those questions to unlock your success. It begins with identifying the problem. Listen, if you don't know what the problem is, you can't fix it, <laughs> right? This might sound simple, but when you're feeling stuck, it's easy to miss. The simple step is to pinpoint the root of your issue. Ask yourself, what's really holding me back? Is it a lack of resources, like maybe not knowing how to create a prototype or not having the funds to hire someone? Or is it something more personal, like lost motivation? If you are not sure where to start, then try reflecting on your recent experiences. Ask yourself, for example, what situations or tasks have been causing me the most frustration or anxiety lately? Or are there patterns in which seem to be going wrong over and over again? For example, do I always get stuck at a certain stage of my project? Or maybe when do I feel the most drained or demotivated, if that's your challenge? You can also talk it out with someone, obviously, that you trust or journal your thoughts. Sometimes verbalizing or writing down your frustrations can help you see the patterns or the issues that weren't clear when you were in the middle of it. Being specific is critical here, guys. Start broad if you need to, but then keep drilling down until you find that core issue. Once you've identified it, you can get to work, roll up your sleeves on finding the answers and you will be amazed at how much easier it is to find the answer when you know exactly what you're looking for because knowing the exact issue allows you to take targeted, confident action on it. It's simple, but not always easy. Being confused is such a frustrating trap. I know it well, like I said. Sometimes it's not easy to boil everything down into just one specific question. So another way to get unstuck, and this is my second tip for you, is to break down your questions. Sometimes there are so many little things that all add up to what feels like one giant thing standing in the way that it's overwhelming and feels impossible to fix. Instead of tackling the problem as a whole, break it down into smaller boxes, compartmentalize it, making it more manageable, and then you'll have the questions that you can answer one by one. For example, I'm working on a new food packaging product right now. It's not a category that I'm familiar with, so I have a lot of research to do and a lot to learn. At one point, I felt myself in that familiar, stuck, frustrating spot, and I had to follow my own instructions or advice. I was trying to figure out why it's not already out there because it's just so darn simple. 
My first assumption with any idea is that I will find it in my research, and most of the time I do, that's true. Which, by the way, is why I only have eight licensed products, because most of my ideas never even make it past the research stage. Anyway, I digress. I was looking for all of the reasons that it may not be on the market beyond the thought that no one has already thought of it, because I couldn't find it in the market competing anywhere anyway. So I was able to satisfy my question about whether it would work by making a prototype. I also did plenty of research on the costs and was satisfied that it would not cost any more than what the current competitors cost to make. And the last thing to check off my list was maybe regulatory issues. Maybe that's the reason there's some sort of compliance issue that would prevent me from getting a deal done and bringing it to market. So I had a general question about food grade packaging, right? What the compliance standards are. And that led me down a deep regulatory hole. <laughs> it was way in out of my depth. So I thought I just needed to ask an expert, but I didn't want to really tell them what my idea was, even under NDA, because this is so simple. So I looked through my LinkedIn connections to see if I could find someone that I trusted. Now I did find one food grade packaging expert and he was nice enough to jump on a call with me, but I still couldn't tell him all of the details. So he just pointed me to the government website with all of the rules and regulations. Again, I was stuck because all that legal mumbo jumbo <laughs> was way above my pay grade. What I did learn though in the process of reading through that was there were two basic categories for the rules. One was for food that comes into contact with whatever the packaging is, and one was for no contact food packaging. So I was closer to having the right question nailed down, and with that, I reached out to several attorneys who specialized in food packaging law with my one simple, specific question. After about leaving five voicemails, I was able to get one to return my call, and he was delightful and not only answered my question because he was an attorney, we didn't need an NDA, and I wasn't nervous about sharing the exact idea. It even turned out he had worked with someone who's in the Hall of Fame on a similar product, so he knows the product, this category, very, very well. He answered my questions, and now I'm satisfied that it's worth filing the patent and presenting this to companies as soon as that's done. I could have spent hundreds of hours scouring the internet, getting even more confused and more overwhelmed, which by the way, in my experience, just makes me want to quit. Instead, I took the time to drill down on that one specific question that I needed to get the answer to, specifically to know whether I had a green light to move on or a red light to move away from the idea altogether, which would have been okay, it would have saved me time and money. Fortunately, that's not the answer I got. Listen, this isn't rocket science, but it can be hard to remember how simple it is when we're feeling doubt or frustration. It messes with our mindset. So go back to basics if you're stuck. Ask the right questions that get you to the bottom of the problem, and then all you have to do is go find someone to answer that question or find it online with all of the amazing tools and resources we have. Now, Armed with the right questions, all that's left to do is that research, and last week I showed you how I've started using ChatGPT to quickly get answers from, on everything from R&D to how to license or companies to license to. I'll put a link below just in case you missed that. But whether you choose to use any of the digital tools that we have available to us, or find an expert that can help you learn like I did, with the right and most specific questions, you will carve out your roadmap for success. And if you're just getting started or stuck somewhere, I'm here to help too. If you would like to learn my exact steps for validating, inventing, protecting, and licensing, the, the same steps that I've used to land me over $30 million in sales, then check out my new Ninja Inventor course for as little as $49. Or book a free call with me below to learn more about it. Remember, you have the power to change your life. You just need to learn what you don't know yet. Every problem is an opportunity in disguise, an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to refine your invention or your plan. By asking the right questions persistently and seeking out the answers, there's nothing that you can't achieve. Let's tackle this journey together and turn your ideas into reality. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tips on bringing your inventions to life.